Hello everyone, it's Orshi Parkani from Women as Entrepreneurs and today I'm interviewing Katrina Pollard from CP Communications. Thank you Katrina for having us. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your company? So we're a PR and social media agency, so we develop PR and social media strategies um, and implement those for a wide range of industries from aged care through to hospitality and everything in between. What made you decide to start your own company? I was working in the corporate world and um, the, the way to success in the corporate world is what title you have on your business card and working your way up to the corner office and I just decided that that just wasn't right for me anymore and I wanted to create my own success. And to this day, none of us have um, titles in our business cards. It's, oh. We are all it's a team. As we are all a team. Mm. Yeah, yes. that's great because that has nothing to do with the client. So you're just being very client focused. Uh, we are so client focused. This is what you're about and the team. Absolutely. And because um, we all have one goal. We all have one goal, and that is to, as I say here, without clients, we have no business. So it's all about the clients for us. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about who can get the corner office or, yeah. Um, it, so it, yeah, it's very much about Thank you. the client. Uh, who, who inspires you? Or did you have any inspiration when you started out? I find inspiration all around me. I find inspiration by looking in the sky, looking at the trees, it's all around us. and. You know, we have an inspiration room in our office. We have, so we have two meeting rooms. I gave my office to a room that was now called the inspiration room. When I entered the office, let me just say, inspiration welcomed me, written on the floor. It's so it is something which is very important, obviously. Absolutely, because it's not only about um, the inspiration that we, we get to be creative, but it's actually how we inspire people. So um, it's how we inspire our clients and it's how we inspire each other. Mm. So um, it, inspiration is a key word for me. Um, it's a key part of my life. So it's all around I, me. What I also admire about you that you, uh, you help other women, you inspire other women mm. and just empowering other women is really important to you and you've done a lot of work in that area. Yes, absolutely. It's Where a, does it come from? Well, I... Um, it's just I think that it's really important that women inspire other women and that we we help other women succeed in their businesses or succeed in their career or succeed in their lives it's about helping each other it's not about stepping over each other um, to get to the top it's about all of us um, joining forces and um, developing relationships so that we can help each other and we have so much in common obviously different sometimes mm. different problems than yeah. what men face. Yeah. And the, my business, CP Communications, as well as myself personally, do lots of work in the women's space, the women in business space. I've developed um, and created communities for women online and in person um, to, help, to help and inspire them. Mm. If, you could, if you could give three pieces of advice to the other women from what you've learned in the past 11 years, what would those be? The first one would be networking. I think that networking is really essential for um, for women who run their own businesses, but also for women who work in businesses mm -hmm. as well. Um, it's about relationships, and the more relationships and the more networks you have, the better your life is. I, um, the more credible. The more credible and the better your reputation is too. And we get all of our clients through referrals, um, and that's, that's a impressive. result of me networking for eleven years. Um, but I've also made amazing friends and and beautiful business relationships from meeting people at networking functions. Um, the second thing is having um, confidence and belief in yourself and your abilities. I think that's really important, um, and I think that yeah. we are responsible for that for ourselves. Um, to um, to learn and to train and um, to read books that help us with our confidence. Um, and the third thing is um, to stick with it. I think <laughs> you know there are hard days and hard weeks. It's going to be up and down. It's going to be up and down, and I um, and just sticking with it. It's it, having your own business is 
amazing, but it's hard as well. Yeah. So just sticking with it and just, you know, putting one foot in front of the other and keep, it, keep on going. Have you always doubted your decision or you have no regrets? I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever. I absolutely love my business. And it's not to say that there have been times that I've wondered what I was doing. <laughs> um, but I have no regrets, absolutely. I think that, that if, you, if, if somebody has an idea about a business or they are inclined to give it a go, then absolutely give it a go. What is a typical day like for you? I know it's it, every day is different, but what is a typical day for you? What gets you going? What keeps you? Uh, my team of people are amazing. I love coming in and um, spending the day with the team, um, and we all respect and help each other out. So it's very much a team environment here. Um, my office is like an art gallery, so I, <laughs> all of my art on the wall, um, I love being here. It's your passion. It's my passion. Um, but I'm in meetings a lot of the time. Um, a lot of my days are meetings. Um, I spend a lot of time doing strategy work for clients um, and working with the team, editing their work and brainstorming um, uh, new ideas and new media angles and new ways of, um, of getting media coverage for clients. Mm. And... Uh, do you have any hobby? What what I'm saying? What is your hobby? My hobby is uh, fiber sculpture, which is using. It's very interesting. Yeah, it is, and it's using plants. So what I love about fiber sculpture is it's actually you're not consuming anything. So I'm not buying paints or um, buying anything. I'm literally finding plants. Um, and drying them out and then weaving them or constructing them into a sculpture. Wow. Yeah. So it's great. It's my creativity. How did you get into that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm naturally um, uh, artistic and creative, so I have yeah. done every single course under the sun. And I, um, I was just, uh, I, I just really like the idea of working with natural fibres. Um, I love gardening and I am you know I love being in nature so I really like the idea of to me art is seeing something and going well well what shape can I put that into like that yeah. might be a plant yeah. but I, someone sees that as a plant but I see that as a sculpture mm. so um, and it's applying that creative thinking creative. to mm. it yeah and can you switch off so you when you finish work Mm. You can just switch over. Uh, it's important. It is really important. And I do find that, well, running your own business, um, yeah, you know, it's a bit of a 24-7 yes. um, job, actually. Mm. Uh, so, you know, I, I have been um, periods in my life where I've been really burnt out. Um, and so I've had to really actively... Um, you know, make sure that meditation and yoga is a part of my life. Spirituality and is important. It, it very, very, very important. We, our office has crystals and aromatherapy oh. <laughs> and water features and organic tea, and so it's a very, very important part of um, of the of business and of and me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kat Katrina, for having us. Thank you. You watched Women as Entrepreneurs with Orshi and Katrina Pollard. Thank you. See you guys next time. Bye.